This is a 2010 Ford Escape. The problem, leaking out of the passenger side axle seal. Nope, excuse me, that's wrong, the driver side axle seal. Uh, so, one thing is that this is a 6F35, I believe. This has a problem with um, the bushing going bad or wearing down from so we're going to do we took the axle out took the axle seal out we're going to try to get this bushing out and we're going to replace it with a bushing from uh, superior uh, here they have a it's a k099 k099 and what they have here is a bushing here um, it's a little wider and they also give a seal here to put it in okay and they give you some instructions to pay attention to one thing you need to pay attention to is how the bushing is is placed and if your bushing is still intact okay where the notches are and you probably need to mark, mark it <sighs> okay there's a notch Let's see here there's a notch which is on this side here so you gotta make sure that notch is right where this notch is now if your bushing has turned around then you need to look at the paper uh, but this notch hasn't turned around. It's way in the back over there. So you got to put everything where it is. The purpose for that notch, from what I understand, there is a like some oil there that lubricates the bushing. So you don't want that not to be lubricated, or you will be messing the bushing up. Um, oh, okay. So now the thing is to get this bushing out, not to get something behind it and try to get it out maybe a slide hammer or try to chisel it out or you don't have to do something to get it out so that's our step to get that bushing out so again this was leaking out the driver's side they're known for doing this um, so the bushing is what you're going to have to replace I may show you us taking it out uh, here there's a tool that you can use to probably take it out you know maybe pull it out um, Mike can make a tool to pull it out but you can get it out I'm sure we can get it out all right let's get busy with this thing oh well they got a tool designed to get this out that tool costs three hundred and some dollars and comes with bushing this is a, a way of trying to get it out but I don't think this gonna work because I don't see where this splits um, it's supposed to have some type of puller to go in and pull it out but you want to try the old-fashioned way or a different way I'm gonna try to weaken this with this here and be careful not to cut so deep we can then then get it out. Ah, jumping now. Uh. A grinding stone probably better, but.
don't want to cut the channel in here because you will be making a way for the oil to get past that bushing and escape. If you happen to cut a channel, you can put some silicone in that channel and then push the bushing in and it will plug it up though. some channels here I'm going to hit it right in the middle see if I have weakened it enough oh yeah it's moving Cut into this just a bit right there, so I'm gonna put some silicone right there after I clean this up. Kind of rough. All right. I put two notch here and I put a scratch here. That represents the hole that's in that bushing that's going to go in this way. Okay. I'll show you on the paper. Um, right here. Where the notches go. Be right here. There's a little wire. There's a notch. It's going to go. You see the notch and you see these X these marks. So the notch will be going this way inside that way.
point I lost um, memory in the camera, so I don't know what completely was recorded, but I think I showed you that this bushing had a notch in here and how we indexed here or we marked here to make sure that notch went right here because there's a, a spot here. And also I tapped it in. You might have seen me, hopefully you saw me tap. I had a one of these aluminum um, pieces right here and bushing driver and I, I tapped it in until I got to this area here, but it needed to go in a little further. So I ended up having to get a bushing driver that was small enough to kind of fit in here to push this in a little further. Okay, so I just put it up here and tapped it in that way. Alright, so now the next step is to um, put the seal inside, but I don't want to put that seal in tight until I first put the axle in. I want the axle in to make sure that this is not so tight. Um, so we're going to put the axle in, see if it's tight. If not, then we have to end up sanding it just a bit to make sure that axle goes in. This was tight, the bushing was over tight, and that axle wouldn't be turning in there. It was turning, so that's okay. Now, I take this out, I'm going to put the seal in there. time to put the seal. It's the actual seal. I'm always put a little silicone around the edges so it won't have a leak coming around here. <laughs> got a uh, something to make this even that probably be better you don't want the seal to be bent and it won't seal so Beautiful. Now to put the axle in. And that's it.